A helicopter high thwarted when the thief couldn't get it to fly. KCRA 3 has exclusive pictures of the chopper after a crash at the Sacramento Executive Airport. You can see it on its side there. The FBI is leading this investigation and we just learned they do have a person of interest, but they have not made any arrests yet. KCRA 3's Michelle Bandura has been at the airport all day long gathering that information. She joins us live now. So Michelle, what's the latest? Well, Andrea and Lisa, I just spoke with the FBI special agent in charge here at the Sacramento field office, and he says they do have a person of interest, but that's all he would tell us. He wouldn't say if this was just a random thief or someone who's connected to the airport or connected to Capitol Helicopters, which owns the crashed helicopter. We want to get right to the scene out here on the tarmac. You can see the chopper right there, the black one with the orange stripes. It is up right now. Crews are working to remove move it from the tarmac, but it did not look like this earlier. Take a look at our exclusive video of the million dollar helicopter smashed on the tarmac. Pieces of it scattered hundreds of feet on the ramp at Sacramento Executive Airport. The aftermath of a chopper culprit, according to Sacramento police and the FBI now in charge. Now we're told that officers responded early this morning saying, uh, somewhere between 2 and 3 a.m. that someone got onto the property and tampered with and damaged four helicopters. They say the thief, the thief finally got one chopper started and attempted to fly, but crashed it. Now, crews started picking up blades and pieces of what's left of the helicopter, and they had to bring in a large crane to try to move that chopper upright, which we did see they attempted to do that. Now, the crash chopper is called a Bell 407 heavy lift helicopter, and it can be used for a variety of functions, including firefighters. Now, the FBI says the thief did leave the scene and they don't believe the suspect is injured, but they are trying to determine why someone would want to steal a chopper. We don't know what the motive is, right? So that will be one of the things that we're looking at is what is the motive. Um, but the scope would be almost anything you can think of. It could be somebody wanting to take uh, an aircraft for a joyride. Uh, it could be somebody wanting to uh, take an aircraft to do some sort of other criminal activity with it, uh, you know, uh, some kind of damage to some other property, whatnot. Uh, terrorism, of course, as you mentioned, would be uh, at the other end of the, of the scope. Um, and so anywhere in between is what we'll be looking at and investigating and finding evidence to determine uh, what that motive is. Now, back live out here in the parking lot, actually, of the Sacramento Executive Airport, you can see there's an FBI agent. They are standing down there. Um, one is kneeling on the ground there. Um, you can see they are looking at some type of evidence that they say they have found out here, but they are not telling us what that evidence is. So you can tell this is still an ongoing and an active investigation here, again, with the FBI leading this. Now, I did speak to a pilot earlier who keeps his aircraft here, and he tells us that local pilots have really been concerned about the security measures here. They've talked to the county, they've talked to the Sacramento County airports saying that they want beefed up security measures. And I want to show you, we talked about earlier today, the fence here. Um, I'm going to go stand by it. So uh, we wanted to show you that scene over there, but this is what they're concerned about. As we've talked earlier, um, the height of the fence. This is one of the reasons that they're really concerned about those security measures. Uh, so, Lisa, this investigation is continuing um, here at the Sac Sacramento Executive Airport. Reporting live, Michelle Bandur, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, and, and Michelle, back to that fence. I mean, you're about 5 feet, 10 inches tall. I'm about 5'2", so it, it yeah. can't be higher than 5 and a half feet tall, and there's no barbed wire on top of it. This is what the pilots have told you they're concerned about. Yeah, this is this is their concern. They wish that the fence was higher. They say that, you know, anybody could jump this fence and get over this. And like I said, there is no barbed wire. It is it is just coming up right here about my shoulder. And actually, I'm standing on um, a, a curb here, so I'm a little bit taller here at this part of it. And also, they say there are no surveillance cameras, but the FBI did tell us that there is uh, some surveillance video that they have recovered. So um, they are looking into that. And again, they don't know if somebody actually jumped the fence 
or if they had a code to get in or if they're personally con connected somehow to someone here at the airport. Those are all of the things that they're investigating. But again, it does bring to light the security measures out here, especially with how fearful things have been the, you know, the past couple decades after 9-11 and terrorism and that sort of thing. All of the things the FBI are looking into here and now pilots definitely concerned and wanting to protect their aircraft here. Yeah, a lot of questions still remain. Michelle Bandor, thank you for the live report and all of your work there today.